Congruent triangles are about checking whether two triangles that you might have are the same or not. That's really all it boils down to. Uh, here you've got a triangle, any old random triangle. You can move it around, it change its angles, it change its side lengths, change where it sits. Um, and then if you take a copy of it and you slide it around or you rotate it around or you flip it, then that copy is still the same triangle because when you put it back and you lie it over the top, if it was made out of cardboard, if you could cut them both out, you could lie one over the top of the other and they would be the same size. They've got the same lengths, they've got the same angles, 32.63, they've got the same 73.11, 74.26, the same lengths, 2.39, 4.26, 4.24. So no matter what you do to it, it's still the same triangle. And that makes it congruent. It fits together. Similar triangles, on the other hand, like this one over here, this is, I'll just rotate it back a bit so you can see it. This one has angles that are the same. So that angle is the same as that angle. That angle is the same as that angle. And that angle is the same as that angle. But this particular purple triangle has got side lengths that are one and a half times the size of the other one. Like if you divide that one in half, that distance from there to there is the same as that distance from there to there. It's one and a half times as big. And so this purple triangle and the blue triangle are similar because they have the same angles. And the red triangle and the blue triangle are congruent because they are the same triangle. All these six numbers are the same for both triangles.